What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am the energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the what you don't see coming for somebody. So before I pull the charms I do want to say that this is about what you don't see coming. I'm going to pull two different decks for two different perspectives. This side sometimes bleeds into this side or sometimes this side is completely different to this side. It just depends on how it comes out. Take what resonates and leave the rest for all my beautiful subscribers thank you so much for coming back and um i know i'm not in my regular space but we still about to get this reading for you okay all right so let's see who's gonna get this reading today oh, oh she's virgo what's up virgs thank you so much for being here this message can resonate with you if you have virgo as a sun moon rising or venus all right i don't know virgo i feel good you guys you guys have good energy i feel good all right um take what resonates and leave the rest virgo okay all right virgo spirit what are the does a Virgo see coming? What does a Virgo see coming? A blessing in disguise? What does a Virgo see coming? That one? You have rigid. Oh, man. Rigid. All right. With conclusion at the bottom of the deck. Okay, that's good. But you, what you don't see coming, um, Virgo, is an energy that feels like nails on a chalkboard. You're going to be in a space where it's like you can't stand. It's like, it's like a, again, like nails on a chalkboard. Like you just can't stand being in that energy, in that space. It's like it's so, ugh. Like that's how it feels. Okay. Um, but with the conclusion at the bottom of the deck, I feel like this is gonna, this is going to like, it's like. It's like something is coming toward to an end. And it's like you're you're at the end part of it. And that's why you're feeling this rigid chalkboard, nails on a chalkboard feeling. All right. But let's see more. All right, Spirit. What's this rigid? That Virgo doesn't see coming. This rigid energy that Virgo doesn't see coming. I told you a blessing in disguise, right? Okay, remember remember I said that. All right, you have the Four of Swords in reverse, the Magician, the Fool, and the Ten of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck is a Strength card. And I just saw the Two of Cups that flew, um, that kind of like came out here. I feel like you, this is about, this is going to stem from a, from a relationship here. Um, a connection that you feel that you have with someone else. And I feel like you don't feel like you're, um, the co you're confident enough to go through with whatever this is, but um, I see you doing it. Okay, there's a new beginning here, but let's see. You have the Four of Swords in reverse with the Magician here, okay? Now, you're going to get out of your head. Like, once you start feeling this energy, you're automatically going to go back to, you're going to go back to the drawing board and you're going to figure out how you can change this, okay? Because you're not going to like being here. You're absolutely not in this space. And you're going to be really in your head and you're going to try to like calm yourself down. And how you do that is by manifesting, is by going back to the drawing board and, you know, seeing what can be done here. You have the fool with the ten of pentacles here, okay? I really feel like you're manifesting more money. You're manifesting some of you a family situation. And it's like you're, you're going with it. Like this new beginning is about to really open some doors for you. But you have to be able to... One, release this relationship here with the lovers in reverse that I see um, or this connection that you have with someone here that is very um, strong, very magnetic, because I feel like you need to heal. Um, and in order for you to want to, you know, you're manifesting a new beginning here with money, but I, I feel like you need to let go of something as well emotion on the emotional side. Um, Seven of Pentacles in reverse with the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I mean, um, I feel like you're going to find out that you were kind of like self-sabotaging yourself and telling yourself that this is something that you want that this is like your wish because it, if it was your wish it wouldn't making you it wouldn't be making you feel the way that you're feeling um so yeah what's this reminder with success yeah i also feel like you have to remind yourself remember that um, in order for you to be successful you have to go through endings you have to go through the woods in order for you to get through the light you know what i'm saying like 
um you have to get uncomfortable to get comfortable is what it's kind of what i'm getting okay all right let's see on this side what does a virgo see from this spirit what does a virgo see from You have complicated. Hi, Dios mío. That means, oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, you have the high priestess of fire at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, Virgo. What you don't see coming. Okay. Eleven could be significant for someone. The number eleven. Um, something's about to be. Something's gonna get complicated. Okay. And with the high, with the high. With the high priestess of fire and the letting go here, I feel like I feel like you're gonna have to make a promise to yourself to let go of something because it's like the passion that you have to it, the connection that you have is so strong that it's like it's not as easy as you think to let something go. Like it's, a, it's like you have to promise yourself, like you have to make a promise to yourself that you're gonna let the, that let this go, no matter how much no matter how much no matter how attractive you are to this okay because letting this go is going to help you transform into the person who you are and this is kind of you connecting more within yourself um because you know that things have to change and the only way to do that is by letting this go okay um complicated spirit for virgo what do they see coming can you clarify this complication the hermit in reverse the hermit is you what else is for virgo I don't think see coming king of wands in reverse the nine of swords in reverse the sun with the hermit in reverse and the three of swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck okay so i feel like it's gonna be really i feel like there's something hold on let me clarify first what's going to be complicated i feel like these kind of are bleed this is bleeding into this here but i want to get some clarification on whatever is going to be complicated because what i'm getting here is that um let me clarify first. <laughs> What's this complication? Judgment in reverse. Okay. With the three of cups in reverse. This could be about friends or family in your space. I feel like, Virgo, right now, you're already getting an energy that you have to make a choice about the certain people that are in your space, okay? And I feel like that decision is going to be a lot harder than you think, okay? And I think that because you have the Hermit in reverse with the Sun card, you're not really um, taking a self-reflection here. It's kind of it's kind of like you're, you're projecting outwards. It's kind of like, oh, well, they make me happy, so I'm going to stay here. And it's like you're not, but do they really? And I don't think they do because with the Hermit in reverse, you're refusing to kind of look inside to see if that's true right or just going off the surface oh yeah you know this is my family this is my friends like of course you know we hang out we have a beer we do whatever um but it's like if you if you really reflect deep down you know this isn't true okay you have the nine of swords in reverse with the king of wands in reverse okay the reason this this decision is going to be complicated for you virgo is because <sighs> you know that, that people are going to be really mad and it's not even going to be like you know mad like oh i'm you know don't talk to me virgo it's going to be like you mother nyeh, nyeh. like and i feel like you're anticipating that okay but and, and you're just like you know what so i'm just i'm just gonna stick to the happy part i'm gonna just stick to what makes me happy because i don't really want to stress about this and, th and that's why you don't want to go within and really make this decision because Again, you already know how they're going to be, okay? Three of Swords in reverse with the Death card and the Two of Cups here. Like, you know, these people aren't... It's like whoever this people, this energy is that you're trying to make a decision about, it's like, it's going to end regardless. I'm going to just tell you that right now. No matter if you're just like trying not to make the decision or to make the decision, whatever. Um, with the Two of Cups in reverse and the Three of Swords in reverse, I'm getting like, if this is a friend situation, a relationship is going to, um, or like a family situation, a relationship is going to be affected by it. And once this relationship ends or you guys are on a break or whatever, that's when you're actually going to start healing. Um, and once you start healing this relationship, that is when you can be able to end this family situation. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. This is all faded. The, the, the will of... The star, the wheel of fortune, and the three of wands. You have a lot of major arcana. 
okay so this is the major decision that's happening in your life and it's gonna be it's gonna cause a major change and this is fated to happen here as well as like once you're done healing it's like you're gonna be waiting for your ships to come in and they're coming and you ain't gonna have to work that hard for it either because you've already done the work here okay and the universe is literally gonna bring you what is for you okay all right so um this let's see what the universe has to say about this change these changes coming for you Virgo. What do you have to say for to Virgo about these changes for Virgo? Oh. What do you have to say to Virgo about these changes for Oh, there it is. All my cards for Virgo and these changes. What would you like them to know? Okay, you got two cards. The first card you have is our armedes of the fours now you are independent and free you're but you'll be able to be free here because i feel like you feel stuck i feel like you feel like you have to do certain things at a certain you know like a certain way like you don't have a way to go change is natural good and yes it can hurt yeah i mean things are going to change here and it's not going to be easy and we learn through pain virgo so remember that too and you have little wolf girl it's all it's all right to be alone there's going to be a period that you're going to be alone here okay and they want you to prepare yourself for that as well as accept it okay um you, you need energy to be by yourself because you got a lot going on with with family and friends and love too like there's a lot you have the mermaid of emergence a complete commitment they want you to come they want you to commit yourself to yourself okay to your healing here to your emotions um because again this is a lot um like i said you have to make a, a promise to let something go make that promise to yourself because that is the only way i feel like you're going to be able to get out of this okay an elder will teach you ask people for advice someone who you know has the best intentions for you and has never um and has never not wanted to help you you have to ask advice for someone who is always there to help you whenever you need it and someone who you know has good intentions okay um endless regret obsessive grief replaying the past and negative nostalgia yeah a lot of you guys don't want something to end because you just you know you, you don't want to feel the ending of something but you're gonna have to here and that's how you're gonna catapult yourself into making this decision that has been really hard for you to make all right, Virgo is all that I have for you today. Hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.